Yes, how would we begin our week with that motivation? We've been joined with our high performance coach and the convener of the Focus Life Summit, Buluatife David. Now, today we're going to be talking about harnessing the power of focus. Now, this is in order to achieve results. And uh, it's always great having you in the studio. Welcome back. Good morning. It's good to be here again. All right. So focus, the power of focus, harnessing results. Uh, the fact that we need to link these two together. A lot of people feel like they're focused every day. You know, I'm focused, I'm focused. And then eventually at the end of the month, the results they're getting are not so <laughs> bountiful. So where do we need to start? Okay. So thank you so much for having me this morning. Um, the truth of the matter is that a lot of people think that focus is actually, you know, staying fixated on one thing, okay. right? But one of the things I've come to realize is that before you even decide the one thing that you need to focus on, mm. you need to, first of all, identify your focus. Okay. So the challenge most of the time is that people are caught up in activities without a clear understanding of the outcome they want to achieve. Okay. So when it comes to focusing, the first thing that people need to understand is the difference between outputs and outcome. Now, mm. those are two different things. Okay. Output refers to activities. Okay. Outcome refers to the end goal that we really desire to achieve. So take, for instance, this show, coming here this morning, having all the guests and all of those things. All of those things are mere activities, yes. right, that would say, okay, we achieved our output. Yes. But the real question then is, did we achieve the reason for setting up this show? Okay. Now, when we are thinking from the outcome perspective, we are able to streamline on activities such that the activities we are doing then are the ones that are directly related to the outcome that we want to achieve. Okay, so for instance, um, I want to maybe break it down to um, a pure water seller or a drink seller in traffic. Yeah. Right? Now, in order to... Um, he puts in a lot of output. Okay. He has to run after the cars. He's in the sun every day. He's carrying a heavy load, right? Um, and the outcome is that if he stays long enough, he will sell every single bottle, right? Okay. Or that, that he has on his head or in his hands or yeah. whatever. Um, so has he achieved out, uh, maximum output, right? He, has, he uh, has achieved maximum output. Output. But not necessarily outcome. Outcome, okay. Yeah, because for him as a person, yes. the outcome he desires is to have money. Okay. So selling pure water mm. is activity. Mm. There are a million and one ways of making money okay. that might not take him to sell the pure water. Mm. So the point is, is the out outcome, I mean the output, producing the desired result, which is the outcome. Okay. Often times than not, it is not. Mm. Because the money he's making on that street, selling the pure water, yeah. might not be the amount of money he desires to make. So by the time he begins to look at it, that is this output, yeah. that because it goes out every day, comes back and it yeah. feels fulfilled. Yeah. That is activity that he checked on the box. So I went out, yeah. I saw pure water. Yeah. But the point is, is it producing the kind of money he that needs. I desire? Mm. If it is not, then that means that that output, that he, although he's achieving those output, mm. they are not producing the outcome. That he so needs. he would have to yeah. look back to say, how do I then go about this thing? in a way that is more sustainable and would then provide more money for me at the end of the day. Okay, so how do we begin to... Okay, we've realized this. We've come to the realization that what we're doing is not giving us the desired outcome. What's the next step to take from there? So that is where it gets difficult because a lot of people are already trapped in the web of activities that are not thinking about the output. So the first thing that people need to do is stop. Right? I call, so you, uh, uh, there are five things I like to talk about. Number one is freedom. A lot of people are not free. A lot of people are living in bondage that they need to be free from activities first. Okay. In fact, some of the things people are doing are other people's activities that are slated out for them, okay. not because they've been able to sit down to say, okay, what do I really need to do? Okay. So stop and free yourself. Freedom is the first thing. So when you know that, oh, I don't have to do this one thing to produce this result, I have a million and one options. So that is where, so the first thing is freedom. The second thing that you need to do 
is uh, organize, organize. Okay. Now, organizing then comes from, you know, a place of understanding. So I use the focus, you know, we say focus. So I yeah. use the F-O-C-U-S yeah. okay. to create this thing. So freedom comes from understanding the outcome that I really want to create okay. and the things that I need to do. So when I free myself, I'm able to look at things like I push it away from myself to look at it properly and analyze it. I understand it. Yeah. Now, after I, I, I now understood it, mm -hmm. I free myself of the activities that are not necessary okay. so I can focus now on the ones that are really necessary by organizing my time. Mm -hmm. Now, by the time I sit down and organize my time, that is where time planning and all of those things comes in. After that, I now say that in all of these things, for me to, to really produce this result, I need to then manage my state. Now, managing my state is being able to understand that at different times, different things will tug at me. But my ability to consistently remain productive and resourceful is dependent on my internal state. Because one of the things I've come to realize is that there are no unresourceful persons, only mm. unresourceful states. Okay. So if I find myself in an unresourceful state, I will remain unproductive. Mm. If I move myself into a resourceful state, I will remain productive. productive. So that's the way hmm. the, the, the system works, really. Okay, so now it's all about being productive, all about making sure that we're using our time the right way, exactly. organizing things in such a way that we can have maximum output as well as maximum out. Maximum outcome. Yes. Not necessarily maximum, maximum output. output. So you, Okay, so this is where we hear that saying, work smart, not hard, right? Exactly. exactly. Um, so you're saying that you might not have to be as stressed out daily as you, as are, you are and have an even better output. Outcome, exactly. Outcome. Rather, outcome, outcome, right? The um, moment you are okay. outcome focused, yeah. it begins to tailor your mind as mm -hmm. to the kind of activities that you need to produce as output. Does this work also for those who are working in paid employment? For Absolutely. Instance? So, for instance, uh, you're in a, a, a bank, you know, um, and maybe you're doing a certain number of hours and you're getting a particular amount of money. Yeah. You're putting in maximum output but not getting a maximum outcome. So, right? let, me, let, me, let, me, let me bring that into context. As quickly context. as possible, yeah. Right. So, for everybody in a typical day, mm. you do, do two types of work. Okay. You do daily routine work and you do project-based work. Okay. Now, daily routine work are the kind of things that you do that keeps your life floating. Mm. Project-based work are the kind of work that you do that moves you really closer to, to your, your goal. goal. So somebody that is working a 9 to 5, he would have his daily outlined work, mm. right? All of those things are daily routine tasks. Okay. What would make him to, to earn so much more on his job would be the project he's able to identify and then commit his time to, Beautiful. such that even though he's doing the daily routine, he's still getting some time to put into project based tasks. That at the end of the day, the organization will be able to say that, oh, we're able to achieve this thing because of this person. Amazing. And that is what will earn the person promotion and ultimately more money as reward. You know what? This topic seems a lot deeper than the time we have for it today. <laughs> but I have to say big thank you to you once again, Bulu Atife, for coming to talk to us. It's uh, always a pleasure. We're going to be looking forward to your uh, responses online as well. Please send us a message. Uh, use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we'll be helping to answer your questions. We have to take a quick break now, and we'll be back with more.